Right, welcome back. So, we can almost be done with the... Uh, we're almost done with this now. Getting them re-educated, but... Hey ho. Um, and it seems like everything is ticking over pretty well in the cult, so we'll head on out. This should be our last venture out here before we have the main boss. I will not suffer the same fate as Lesher. Find my temple. You will join your kin in slaughter. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be this one then. So. Necromantic Dagger. Okay. Once lane at four, chance to summon a ghost that will attack nearby enemies. Ooh. And the tentacle spell again. Oh, hello. When you serve that monster we have put in chains, you will not be satisfied until you have killed all four of us. You may have killed my brother Leshy, but you will not kill me and you will not get close to the other bishops of the old uh, of the old fair. They are far older and more powerful than dear brother Leshy was. That's a new and angrier version of his frogs. Spell does not do very much damage. I'm not really, I've decided I'm not really that keen on it. I knew I was going to do that as well. Git. Right. Creepy how there's just like people stuck in the mushrooms on the sides. Oh, we've got a ghost. I'll be honest, the ghost was kind of anticlimactic. I thought they'd stick around a lot more and be a little bit more useful. Seems to just kind of turn up, shoot a projectile out and then kind of go away. But yeah, look, there's people stuck in the mushrooms. It's weird. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not really sold on these necromancy swords. Right, which way do I think? Ah, this will be a card. Now let's get a card. Consume less further. Uh, or gain an extra heart. We're having some issues with that one. Oh, hello. I know you. You're a friend of, uh, uh, Rat House. Uh, Rat House. Yeah, the Rat Guy. I recognize that crown on your head. Rat House has told me all about you. I'm on the way to visit him for a game of knuckle bones. I have debts to pay and debts to gain. Ah, so I can defeat him at knuckle bones now, eh? Okay, there's food and things there. Or I can get a survivor or buy another one. Or buy normal combat. Sounds good to me. Oh, is he selling them again? Oh, wow. Real cheap. Hell, we'll practically make the money back. Yeah. Yep, we basically made the money back and then a little bit, I think. Very nice. I'm surrounded by fools that don't see my genius. But you see it, don't you, Lamb? Admit your stupidity and my intellectual superiorities and I will, uh, superiority, and I will be yours to command. Sure. Ah, he's on the sacrifice list. <laughs> Lots of stuff there. Mostly gold, but... Okay. It's increased by a lot. Oh wow. On a dagger as well. This will be interesting. <laughs> Me like it. Me like it lots. Yes. Twenty percent chance of gaining a spirit heart when killing an enemy. Oh. Okay, hello. Like a lawnmower going through all this. Uh, 
Very nice. Let's see what that other room was then, because I'm, I'm trying to figure out which one's going to be the critical path here. Okay, that attack rate increase is absolutely insanely good. Right, there's, there's good cards and there's good cards. That is an excellent card. Most customers from micro stuns and stuff that it allows it to do. It's like having a, like a poise breaking build on the Dark Souls or something where you can just continuously stun things so they can never hit you. Vampiric Axe. Bane Axe. as crazy good the attack speed with this but it means that an axe that would normally attack very slowly is now attacking very quickly I also should have considered that there are boss coming up so there's probably not going to be many enemies actually to gain his health back but you never know there might be yeah there's going to be areas on the way This almost attacks as quickly as a sword now. But it absolutely crushes everything. Curse consume less favor, or can get a diseased heart. We'll already get a diseased heart because of our fleece. Does, does this get me another one? Okay, now it's like we've got the Vampiric Axe and the Bane Axe. <laughs> Day 20 gold, get both, why not? of corruption, an explosive projectile. Sure, the current spell's kind of crap. Right, let's go and check out that other room first. Damn it, his, his attack made him move out of the way at the last second.
What have you got in store for me then? Finally, I've been looking forward to this. Making your peace, uh, make your peace, creature. You will not be leaving this temple. Oh, he's going into his final form. I'm saying his, it's a she, isn't it? So she's going into her final form. Not that you'd be able to really tell if I'm looking at them. <laughs> A decent bit. And the vampire cats might actually be useful here because they are enemies to slay from the side. them as well. intently. Ow. Nacked off to, but he's gone somewhere. Just AoE stuff going off everywhere. Too many goddamn frogs. Charge that attack, I think I'm finding. But it's good. I'll get that. Pretty good and damaging. And we got him. Fana! Boss number two. Get some bones.
Very nice. I enjoyed watching you destroy a Hecate. Her arrogance was always destined to be her undoing. Your merciless crusade against the old faith <coughs> warms my cold, unbeating heart. I've got a feeling we're going to regret letting them out at the end of this. And the shepherd shall make a way in the wilderness, rivers in the desert and light in the dark. to go to jail. <laughs> Ignores dissenters when they preach because they're zealous. They're cynical but zealous. Makes no sense. Contradictory. Faithless generates devotion slower. Guess they're chopping trees. Right, what did we want? So there's a confession booth. Could get propaganda speakers. Oh, there's a fertilizer, uh, fertilizer silo there. Hmm. janitor station next kind of trying to do like a bit of a push for hygiene and such wow he's working tirelessly so they do just eventually collapse over these some beds as well. Right, so let me get some beds put down as well. And we've actually got plenty of uh, wood for once. That's nice. Right. 
Oh wow, we've got some elder ones now. Rituals, right, who have we got? They're near retirement then, and they're level 3. Absolutely marvellous, okay. Enjoy the afterlife. Level up. Increase the starting level of weapons. Lovely. That's a nice power up, power up for us. And some excess. Lovely. Spilling over into the next level. Just what I want to see. All followers gain loyalty. Okay, um, let's ascend one then. I think Heta is closer to death. Hopefully, we'll have just enough time to get the other one done on uh, the other one done in when the cooldown's <laughs> over. Eat meal to receive a spirit heart. Uh, okay. Sounds good to me. You unlocked a new crown ability. Once a day, eat a meal to receive a heart. Lovely. Sounds really helpful. Okay, that's going much faster. It's also freed up a few more beds. Oh. So, uh, oh, we can collect a reward as well for killing uh, Ebrion. I mean, you know, retiring Nabrion, of course. They retired, everyone. They, they were retired, they were old. That's how retirement works here. We uh, sacrifice it to Cthulhu. You have done what you must for the good of us all. They were a traitor. Ooh. Oh, they really like me. Just wait till you're ready to retire. And look at this harvest. Oh, wow. Absolutely excellent.
Right. Plenty of pumpkins are in. Those birds are steering clear since we've got this scarecrow now. We need to put some new seeds in. Right, so for the outhouse we need a few more planks, uh, for the fertiliser, oh we need planks as well, oh that's not good, um, okay, planks, planks and planks. Hunger for lumber will never end, it would seem. That should do it. Oh, not quite, nearly. He's level five now. Have you not got a job? Well, worship me if you're not going to do any work. How come there's no... <coughs> yeah, how come no one's in the mines? Is my question. That's a bit unusual. Right. Anyway, I think that's probably going to do it for the episode. Yeah, we just need to figure out now why the hell um, no one's in the mines. Maybe if I just quit and restart it, it might just get a bit of a kick up the backside that it needs. Excuse me, some creatures are here seeking shelter with our cult, but they are sick. Should we let them join? Yes. Centers, generates dis uh, yep, okay. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, they heal faster. <coughs> so this will this will be no problem for them. Right. Wow, you did it. You truly are without flaw. Yay! Well, it's going to be level 6 soon. Jesus Christ. Oh. 
and we do need to cook some things. Are they? Oh, they need a bed. I think. Don't know why they just kind of sat out here. I know it doesn't say that they need that we need a bed. Oh, mighty meat feast. Oh wow. Okay, I see. I guess I was fine. Ah, so as the meal is better, the success area becomes smaller. Right, we'll finish off our cult stuff. They do not do as good a job as my followers, I'll admit that much. Squid though. Octopus that one. See if we can get that big one. Another octopus. Maybe it's like octopus season or something. Hmm. More just minnows. Dominoes. Terrible. Definitely have to come and get some doors at some point, eh? In fact, how much are they? Twenty five. Eh. I've still some buildings that I'm putting up at the moment, so we'll see. Maybe in a bit. Still no one in those mines. Getting a 
nice bit of faith each time. Oh, it'll be a while before the cooldown then. No matter though, faith is high. And this should do it. Should have done that prior as well, I'd have got the extra... Uh, extra faith that in the, uh, in the temple. It'll have only been the one though, so it's not too bad. No, why is that happening then? No one in the mines. How odd. That could be an issue then if the game's having a bug where I can't use the mines anymore. Okay. And on that note. I'm going to call it an episode. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see what the hell is going on with this weirdness next time.